Hey gang, Scott here. Quick tip for you about using dehaze tools with your architecture or cityscape photos. Uh, the, these tools will bring life back to your cityscapes, to your architectural structures. You know, obviously cut through haze, but they can also cut through some glare or just otherwise washed out kind of feelings in it. I'll be in Lightroom for this particular tutorial, but whatever editing tools you're using, on one photo raw, Luminar, Lightroom, you have a dehaze slider and a little bonus tip coming, you got a curves control, then this technique will work for you. So let's have a look. This image here obviously taken at midday, just you know, a walk about in the city. And uh, there's a couple of adjustments that I want to call out here. You can see I've done a lot to the photo. I've done a lot of different masks and so forth to it, uh, all the basics. But uh, it's these masks number six and number eight. Uh, you know, the names don't matter, but let's take a look at what they're doing. You can tell by the shape of this mask, this is for the skyline, right? To, you know, the, the buildings that are along here in the skyline. When we look at the changes, texture and clarity certainly want to add crispness and detail to those buildings but a healthy amount of dehaze let's turn that on so we can see the effect there we go and particularly dehaze without the dehaze and then with the dehaze you know these the darker windows and these darker borders uh, you know these the different accent structures on all of the architecture that's getting deepened you know those middle grays are getting cut down and it's bringing life it's you know, reclaiming some life in that skyline one more time without the mask and with the mask before and then after you know big difference the next thing in this photo, another structure, another architectural feature that needs a little work where a dehaze is going to help out you know, is this bridge. And this is where the bonus tip with curves is going to come in too. Like you know, this pedestrian bridge that's here. I think it's a pedestrian bridge. I mean, I see people in there, but maybe there's cars that go through. But uh, looking at this, it's got this very well hazy kind of middle gray to it on it. And um, that is uh, partially because I'm sure this, uh, you know, this is like either a smoked glass or it's a little bit, you know, dusty. But uh, what can we do with this to improve it? And you can see here with this effect, I've boosted up dehaze quite a bit. And then you're going to see in here, I've done some curves work too. But let's take these one at a time. So first we'll just turn it on. You can see the full effect before and after. So, uh, and I've, I've kind of overcooked this a little bit so you can see the results there, but let's take a look at the individual things. You know, what is dehaze doing? It is cutting out middle gray. Right now, if I turn off this mask again, we see we have, you know, a lot of you know, just middle soft, you know, blah gray in there. With the dehaze, turn that back on, let Lightroom catch up a little bit before the dehaze and after. Now that helped. Where the bonus is with the curve in your luminance curve, well, I'm targeting like the, the upper mid-tones of this curve. And if I reset that, we can see that that bridge is going to get kind of bright again. Just grabbing a point there, picking something out in this middle gray, and just pulling it down. And again, I pulled it down really far, but you can see this uh, result here before and after. We're using dehaze to cut haze, doubling down a little bit with the curve to do it. In this photo, you know, I want to back off that final look on uh, this particular, uh, you know, affect the structure. I'll just use the amount slider and kind of like, you know, twiddle this around a little bit until I think it's um, it's reasonable. This is like morally equivalent to the opacity slider if you're using some uh, filters in On One or uh, similar things in Luminar Neo. But those are the tips. Dehaze will help you cut through, well, haze, but anything that has middle gray and for cityscapes, for skylines, for prominent architectural features, it can really bring an extra amount of life to them. And if you're not getting enough with dehaze, take a look at the curves and bring your middle grays down with a curve as well. Hope you found the tips useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.